The Appalachian Mountains was once again pounded by torrential rains during April 2nd through the 5th of 1977. Kentucky, Tennessee, West Virginia, and Virginia once again flooded. Record floodwaters were recorded in Upper Cumberland River, Tug and La Vista Forks of the Big Sandy River, and the Guyandot River, Clinch and Powell Valley Rivers, the North Fork of the Kentucky River, and the Holston River. Fifteen counties would be affected by the flood in Kentucky. They were Bell, Harlan, Pike, Johnson, Floyd, Letcher, Breathitt, Knott, Perry, Knox, Lawrence, Leslie, McGoffin, Martin, and Whitley counties. The flood actually happened in two stages. The first stage saw a rainfall of less than one inch between April the 2nd and the 3rd of 1977. The first rain saturated the ground. The following rain the second would become stage happened water. between the evening of April the 3rd through April the 5th. The rainfall levels reached as much as 15.5 inches. This created conditions for a flash flood in the area. At Pikeville, Kentucky, the peak flooding would reach 51.46 feet and was 1.26 feet lower than the 1957 flood. The city of Pikeville would have damages estimated to reach $71 million. Peak stages in Prestonsburg were 45.71 feet. Floodwaters reached a depth of 9 feet in the town of Martin. There was one death and 117 businesses that were destroyed or severely damaged throughout Floyd County, with nearly 1,000 families suffering personal property losses. Peak stages in Paintsville were 42.19 feet. Both Prestonsburg and Paintsville flood stages were 3 feet lower than the 1957 flood stage. In the city of Harlan, 600 dwellings were destroyed and 200 families suffered personal loss. The sewer treatment plant was flooded and businesses were severely damaged. The city of Pineville damaged. was under 15 feet of water. The water went over the tops of the levees in the flood wall. In Bell County, three people died. 674 injuries or illnesses were reported. 1,512 families suffered personal losses due to the flood. The city of Barbersville had been evacuated, but the levees held and the town did not suffer any losses from water damage. In Tennessee, rain had occurred on March 29th through the 31st of 1977. This storm saturated the soil with water that caused the next rainfall to become runoff water. When the April 2nd through the 5th, 1977 rains fell, it caused record flooding in the Clinch and Powell Valley basins. The peak flood stage reached 38.96 feet, which exceeded the record set in 1826 by the total damages feet. were estimated at $15 million by the State Highway Department of Tennessee. This estimate was divided equally between roads, bridges, utilities, homes, and businesses. Record-breaking flood water would be recorded by the Big Sandy, Clinch, Holston, and Powell River basins. The peak stage of flood water on the La Vista Fork near Grundy, Virginia reached 24.77 feet which was 5.71 feet higher than the previous recorded maximum in 1957. La Vista Fork at Big Rock, Virginia crested at 27.38 feet, which was 11 feet higher than any peak recorded. The Guest River at Coburn, Virginia crested at 20.95 feet, which is 5 feet higher than the record in 1957 and four feet higher than the flood of 1918. Four to ten inches of rainfall was recorded over the Tug Fork River and the upper Guyandot River Towns along the Tug Fork basins. River were under 20 to 25 feet of water. Some of the small communities were completely underwater. In Williamson, West Virginia, the peak stage reached 52.56 feet and was the highest recorded since 1926 and about eight feet higher than the 1963 flood. The main business district of Williamson was protected by flood walls and an elevation of 44 feet. Damages were estimated to be $50 million in the Tug River Basin and excess of $10 million in the Gondot River Basin. Damages in the Kennewa River Basin was estimated to be $2 million. 
The overall damages caused by the 1977 flood was devastating to the area. While many of the records of the flood water was not reached or broken from the 1957 flooding, other records sadly were. 22 people died in the flood in a four state wide area, of which 10 people were killed by flood water in the state of Kentucky. The damages would estimate to reach $175 million in 1977 currency. Damages to small businesses reached excess of $100 million according to the Offices of Small Business Administration. The 15 counties that were affected in the state of Kentucky were declared a disaster area. Because of the lack of weather warning system that had an early detection system with it, many people did not have adequate time to evacuate with the 1957 or the 1977 floods. The U.S. Weather Service began a system in October of 1980 to bridge that gap. With a total of 13 counties, a 24-hour-a-day weather station was staffed with six meteorologists and an electronics technician. The system and station was tied to the Kentucky Early Warning System. Pikeville, Kentucky also learned many lessons from the floods of the area and began to work on a three-phase project to move the Big Sandy River. This project would become the Pikeville Cut-Through Project. Thank you for continuing to read and watch Kentucky Tennessee Living's posts. We deeply appreciate it. Our goal has always been to bring the history back to the Appalachian Mountains. Please like, subscribe, and share below. Also hit the bells for notification of future videos. And once again, be sure to leave us a hey y'all in the comments section below. Thank you for continuing to support us and watch our videos.